We headed back to the Keys over the summer with some friends for a little group trip, and this is that footage. With a flats boat, we do most of our fishing inshore, but the seas were so flat that weekend that we decided to take it offshore and see what we could get. Obviously, we didn't get anything too big, but for us that do mostly inshore fishing, we were still really excited to be able to get any type of offshore fish. I'm doing a shot. I'm doing a few deep water jumps were made, a couple of celebratory drinks, and more fish were caught before we headed back inshore with the boat. Back in shore, we stopped at this really beautiful clear spot so that we could all jump in the water and cool off before we did a little bit more fishing back on the other side in the Gulf. I ended up hooking this little shark who put up a really good fight and did not want to come to the boat. Sometimes you feel bad because you know that you're wearing them out and making them really tired, but ultimately we want to try to get them to the boat. This way we can get the hook and the line out. So when possible, try to get them in without stressing them too much. You know, get your hook, get your line, and send them on their little happy sharky way. seen this in some of my other videos but I've never really explained it so this is toilet bowl cut it's in Isla Mirada and the story behind it is that in the 1950s a local man didn't like the long route around where he was going so he just kind of bore out this cut in the shallows with his boat and put a post up to you know signify where it started and then a hurricane came through and when he came back, there was a toilet bowl hanging on the post that he had hung up. Painted it and then hung it back up to signal the entrance to the cut. Over the years, it's kind of become like a local thing. So people will paint toilet bowls, they have graduating class and this person loves this person and et cetera, et cetera. And they hang them up on some of the posts so you can drive through and see all of the fun things that people have written on them. We then ended the evening with, well, for lack of a better word, getting absolutely hammered at Jimmy Johnson's Big Chill. The next day we were back on the boat with a much more lax attitude and a slightly slower speed thanks to the night before. So we just spent the day visiting different reefs, getting in and out of the water, and really just enjoying being down there in the beautiful Keys and having a fun vacation day. still did some snorkeling and got in the water to see all the different fish in the different reefs so even though I wasn't swimming as gracefully as I would have liked to it was still really cool to be in the water
On the way back in that day, we ended up finding this little area that had like 20 little baby barracuda, but we couldn't keep one on because it kept cutting the line. We also unfortunately saw this dead sea turtle floating in the water. You just hope that they died of natural causes, but there was really no way for us to tell what had happened. We ended the evening doing a little fishing back near the house. Brought in a couple snapper, but nothing too impressive. Also, when your bae is the photographer, there always seems to be a bunch of sneaky booty shots. The next day we headed back out offshore to see if we would have any luck, but we didn't. We headed into Alligator Reef in Isla Mirada because the water there just absolutely cannot be beat. It is so crystal clear and beautiful and there's always a bunch of boats hanging out like a little mini sandbar and we just floated around, had some drinks, jumped in the water and had a really great time. Hope you guys enjoyed watching our little Keys vacation and we will be back to fishing soon. Bye!